Good morning. Welcome back to my Learn with Tommy A Level Mathematics. And we continue with the differentiation, chapter 9, the change rules of differentiation. 9.3 differentiation, the change rule. You can use the change rule to differentiate composite function or functions of another function. And this is the change rule. If you have dy by dx, it will be equal to dy by du. u is a function of x multiplied by du by dx, where y is a function of u and u is another function of x. Let's just do an example. Given that y is equal to 3x4 plus x with the power 5, find the dy by dx using the change rule. We let u equal to 3x to the 4 plus x, and du by dx is equal to 12x squared plus 1. y is equal to u5. dy by du is 5u to the power 4. So using the change rule, dy by dx is equal to dy by du multiplied by du by dx. So dy by du is 5 to the u4. And du by dx is 12 x squared plus 1. And we substitute u equal to 3x4 plus x into 5u4. So we have dy by dx equal to 5 multiplied by 3x4 plus x to the power of 4 multiplied by 12x squared plus 1. This is how we use the change rule to do the differentiation of this equation. Example 2, given that y equal to psi power 4x, 5 dy by dx, y equal to psi x to the power 4, and u is equal to psi x, du by dx is cosine x. So y is equal to u to the power 4, dy by du is 4u to the power 3. And we use the change rule, we get dy by dx is equal to 4u squared cosine x, and we substitute, u is equal to psi x into here, we got dy by dx is equal to 4 psi x to the quick, multiplied by cosine x. And with the change rules function, you can also enable your differentiation of a function of a function. In general, if y is equal to the fx to the power n, then dy by dx is equal to n multiplied by fx to the power n minus 1, f dash x. And if y is equal to a function of gx, then dy by dx is equal to the f dash function of gx and uh, g dash x. And in some case, you have an equation is x equal to some terms of y, if you want to find the dy by dx, you just find the dx by dy and then 1 over it. This is we call the dy by dx multiplied by dx by dy is equal to dy by dy and is equal to 1. So it's the inverse of it. Example 4. Given that y equal to square root 5x squared plus 1, find the dy by dx as the point 4 and 9. So y is equal to 5x squared plus 1 square root. So fx is equal to 5x squared plus 1 and f dash x is equal to 10x. Using the change rule, we have dy by dx is equal to the whole function differentiation. So we got half multiplied by 5x squared plus 1 to the minus half multiplied by 10x. So we got 5x multiplied by 5x squared plus 1 to the powers of minus half. And we substitute this point, x equal to 4 and y equal to 9 into the dy by dx. We get the values of 20 over 9. And example 5, find the values of dy by dx as the point 2 and 1 on the curve with the equation y quick plus y equal to x. In here, you've got x is equal to some terms of y, so you get the dx by dy first. 
So dx by dy is equal to 3y squared plus 1. And then dy by dx is equal to 1 over 3x squared plus 1. And then we substitute the 1 into y here. So we get 1 over 3 plus 1 is 1 over 4. These are the answers of the dy by dx of this equation. So after these five example, because of the exercise number six, seven, eight, and and the most difficult question of this example is number nine. You got A, B, C three part. I also get you the answer in each question here. You can check the answer if you have done all the exercise. So let's take out your pen, some paper and calculator. We are going to do this exercise. Question number six, we find the differentiative of y equal to 1 plus 2x to the power 4 and dy by dx is equal to 4 multiplied by 1 plus 2x multiplied by 2. So we differentiate the outside part first and then we differentiate the 1 plus 2x and we got 2 here. So the answer should be 8 multiplied by 1 plus 2x. And part B, if we have y equal to 3 minus 2x squared to the power 1 minus 5, so dy by dx is equal to minus 5 and 3 minus 2x squared to the power of minus 6. And multiply by, we differentiate the inner parts, we got minus 4 x here. So we multiply into here, we got 20 x multiplied by 3 minus 2 x squared to the power of minus 6. This is the answer. And question C, 3 plus 4 x to the power of half dy by dx is equal to half and then 3 plus 4x to the power minus half multiplied by 4. So half multiplied by 4, we got 2, 3 plus 4x to the power of minus half. We can write in this form 2 over square root of 3 plus 4x. And question number D, we got 6x plus x squared to the power 7 dy by dx is equal to 7 6x plus x squared to the power 6 multiplied by 6 plus 2x. So it's equal to 7 6 plus 2x and 6x plus x squared to the power 6. The e part, we got 1 over 3 plus 2x, so y is equal 3 plus 2x to the power minus 1, so dy by dx is equal to minus 1 here, we got 3 plus 2x minus 2 multiplied by 2. And we have minus 2 over 3 plus 2x to the square. Question F. We got y equal to square root 7 minus x. So dy by dx is equal to half here. And then 7 minus x to the power minus half multiplied by minus 1. So we have minus 1 over 2 to the square root 7 minus x. And question g here, 4 multiplied by 2 plus 8x to the power 4 dy by dx is equal to, and then we take the 4 down, we got 4 times 4 multiplied by 2 plus x8 to the power 3 and multiply by 8 here. So we got 4 times 4 times x is 128 multiplied by 2 plus 8x 
to the power 3. And uh, h part, we got 3 multiplied by 8 minus x to the power minus 6. So dy by dx is equal to 3 multiplied by minus 6 multiplied by 8 minus x to the power minus 7 and multiplied by minus 1 here. So it's minus minus, so it's po positive. So 18, 8 minus x to the power minus 7. We can write it in the form here to the power 7. So we have done the question number 6. Question number 7, given that y equal to 1 over 4x plus 1 to the power 2, find the values of dy by dx as the bond 1 fourth and 1 fourth. So dy by dx is equal to minus 2 here, multiplied by 4x plus 1 to the minus 3, and multiplied by 4. So it's equal to 8 4x plus 1 to the minus 3. And we substitute x equal to 1 fourth into this dy by dx. We have equal to 8 4 multiplied by 1 fourth plus 1 to the power of minus 3. And then so it's 8 1 plus 1 to the minus 3. So and then we got 8 2 to the power 3. And 2 to the power 3 is 1 over 8. So 8 multiplied by 1 over 8. And we forgot this minus right here, right? So this one is minus. So it's minus 8 multiplied by 1 over 8. So it's minus 1. The value of the answer is minus 1. Question number 8. Given that y equal to 1 plus log 4x to the powers of 3 over 2, find the values of dy by dx as the x equal to e crypt over 4. So we have the dy by dx is equal to 3 over 2, 1 plus log 4x to the power of half multiplied by, and this log 4x is equal to log 4 plus log x, so the differentiation of this one is 1 over x. So this one is 1 over x. We multiply by 1 over x. And then we substitute x is equal to e crypt over 4 into here. So we got 3 over 2, 1 plus log 4 times e crypt over 4 to the powers of half. And then multiply by 1 over x of course x is e crypt over 4 so we got here is 4 over e crypt and then we got here 4 t multiplied by 1 fourth so it's e crypt so 3 over 2 1 plus log e crypt to the power half multiplied by 4 over e crypt here 3 here so it's 4 to the half and then multiply by 4 over e crib. So we got 4 to the half is 2, 3 times 2 times 4 over 2 e crib. And cancel this out. So we got is 12 e to the minus 3. This is the values of dy by dx as the point x equal to e crib over 4. Question number 9. The curve C has the equation x equal to 4 cosine 2y. We show that the pawn Q 2 pi over 6 slide on the curve C. So when x is equal to, we substitute x equal to 2 into here. We got 2 is equal to 4 cosine 2y. So cosine 2y is equal to half and 2y is equal to pi over 3. So y is equal to pi over 6. So when x is equal to 2, y is equal to pi over 6, that means the pawn 
q 2 pi over 6 is lined on the curve C proved. So B part will show that dy by dx is equal to minus 1 over 4 square 3 as the pawn q. So as pawn q, that means as this pawn, so we have substitute these two value into the dy by dx. First of all, we get the dx by dy first and then we get 4 times minus psi 2y multiplied by 2. So we got minus 8 psi 2y. And we know that the dy by dx is equal to 1 over minus 8 psi 2y. Substitute pi over 6 into this y because equal to 1 over minus 8 psi 2 pi over 6. 2 multiplied is pi over 3 here, so we got is 1 minus 1 over 8, and psi pi over 3 is square root 3 over 2. So we got it equal to minus 1 over 4 square root 3. And we prove this value is equal to this value here. And finally, the C parts find an equation of the normal to the C. And remember, this normal, this is not the tangent. As point Q, given your answer in the form AX plus BY plus C equal to zero, where A, B, and C are the exact constant. We have the dy by dx is equal to the slope of the tangent is equal to minus 1 over 4 square root 3. And the slope of the normal is equal to minus 1 over the slope of the tangent. So it's equal to 4 square root 3. And we got the pawn here, Q, is equal to 2 pi over 6. So we got the pawn slope form, y minus pi over 6 equal to the slope here, 4 square root 3 multiplied by x minus 2. So it's y minus pi over 6 is equal to 4 square root 3 x minus 8 square root 3 here. We take everything to the left hand side, so we got minus 4 square root 3x plus y minus pi over 6 plus 8 square root 3 equal to 0. And we multiply by minus 1 for the both sides, we got 4 square root 3x minus y plus pi over 6 minus 8 square root 3 equal to 0. We take the form ax plus by plus c equals 0. That means a is equal to 4 square root 3, b is equal to minus 1, and c is equal to pi over 6 minus 8 square root 3 here. So we got the answer. Muchas gracias. Again, thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos. And if you need a pilot tutor for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong, the SAT examination, or just you want to improve your mathematics and English for your college and university study, please contact me at chingtong929 at yahoo.com.hk. My telephone number is plus one eight five two six five nine two eight six zero nine. 好多謝大家收聽我這個影片如果你希望你的 Mathematics